morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. This morning. is your girl, Kiki Bobia, here with Mama or Ma. And how are you doing this morning, Mom? Oh, I'm tired. She's tired. My I'm foot tired. is swollen. I don't know what I did to it. Yeah. And I'm tired. My chest was hurting like the past couple days last week. And turns out I pulled a muscle. Didn't know that could happen. Did not know it at all. It hurt every time I took a breath. At the point I thought I was having a mini heart attack. It drove me nuts and scared the mess out of me. So, yeah. Um, here's looking particularly awesome today. Anyway, I just realized my eyebrow is thicker than the other one. I can fix that. Yeah. Not even. Okay. Okay. In this segment of Tea Time Tuesday, it's our second segment, and I am so happy about that. Yes, yes. Second segment. Um, we are going to be talking about Asian men, black women. You know, I'm down for the swirl. It doesn't necessarily for me mean black or white. Black and white. Black man, white woman. Um, wh um, white man, black woman doesn't really necessarily mean that. It means like you know, two different people from two two, two different cultures across the world. You know, bridging the gap. And particularly, we're going to be looking at Asian men, black women. And um, let's just spill the tea on this real quick. I like you said. Like I said before, I'm down with it. I'm cool with it. Ain't nothing wrong in my eyes. But for a lot of people, there have some poor quads about it. Maybe I. <laughs> like, okay, at first, because, okay, true. At first, when I said I was going to date outside my race, I thought I would be judged for it. No. By, uh, well, mainly my family. <clears throat> Particularly my grandmother and my mom. I want the picture. Um, but those, are, those two, those, they were the two main. My brother, I didn't care. <laughs> I love my brother, but I didn't care. I thought, you know, by me being with somebody of my own race, of my own skin tone, same shade and all, I would be okay, you know, I'm doing the right thing. Yeah, but I wasn't happy. So, in, let me see, what year was that? That was like, uh, oof, 2008 ish. I was in high school and I had my first ambi. Oh, Lord. Sorry, she pulled up a picture of my niece when she was a baby. <laughs> so cute. Um, she, all right, um, I dated someone who was of Asian descent. Um, for reasons, I'm not gonna pull out his whole name, only, only gonna call him Mikey. Okay. Um, me and Mikey, we dated for a good while. Um, and I had no problem with it. The only problem was, at the time, was the age difference. That was the big deal. Other than that, I was cool. <coughs> he was cool. He was he was someone who loved Neo, had his hair slicked back most of the days, and had, dressed sharp this all the time. And what? What's that one? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Sorry. She, yeah. She and my mom knew, but when we decided to leave Virginia at the time and we moved here to Georgia, I had to end it because I was about to, uh, you know, hit my age limit and he wasn't nowhere near it. I'm not going to tell the ages. So, Y'all look at me like I'm crazy. I'm not going to say The only people that do know was my family or how old he was. Now we are friends and we talk about it every now and then. I still have a picture of us together. Um, we went to a Valentine's Day dance um, at Bayside High School in Virginia Beach. Go Marlins! What's up? So um, my mom knew about it. Now that was has to be the only Asian relationship. Okay, glare glasses hate very much. That had to be the only Asian relationship I had, um, as far as you know, dating wise. Uh, we really couldn't do anything outside the fact that I was in marching band at the time, and um, I don't think his family knew about me. Um, really? I don't think they did. Hmm. I don't think they did, honestly. If I think about it now, I really don't think they knew about me. But y'all did. You and my, you and she and my brother did. They knew about him. So, um. But, yeah, when we left there, I'm like, okay, well, let me just, you know, test the waters again in mm -hmm. my, you know, in my own air, in my own neck of the woods. Didn't work. <laughs> Didn't work. Did not work not at, at all. all. At all. 
I I couldn't do it. It didn't it didn't it's not that I don't love the black male. I do. To a degree. <laughs> to a degree. Um I I can't and for some reason to me I just feel like so out of place. Why? Wow. I when I'm if I'm dating somebody black? Oh, yeah, well, hey. If I'm dating some shit. <laughs> It's like, and I make fun of it all the time because it's, it's just, it's my family. It's my family. Um, They always like to make fun of me. They're like, no, nah, no, no. It's like a National Enquirer headline. Like, she's dating somebody black. Okay. <laughs> that happened about like, what, four times in my life? Five, at least? Mm. Four. About four. Yeah, it was four, about four. Four, four times. I did it <coughs> three? No. No, five. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was going to say no. That's wrong. That's five times. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm blanking out. I did it three black guys when I was in high school in Virginia. Um, I did it two here in Georgia. Yeah. So, yeah, five times. Um. Uh, who? What? I'm, I'm like so blind right now without my glasses. Oh my I'm sorry, y'all. She's having, yeah. So I, I haven't been on my page in a long time. So. She really hasn't. So she's making up for some lost time. But it's, and it's okay. So I can't blame her. But that was my. Those were my experiences. And most of them, the last two were long distance relationships. The other two, they were of course they were in high school, and I was in marching band. The first one, he just wanted sex. The second one, he couldn't get away from me. I'm talking about like he would be at my band practice every time we had it. He tried to get my schedule. He tried to get his schedule switched over to mine, and I was getting creeped out. <laughs> like, no, God, please stop. He oh, had to hold her hand while they was in the car, and I was taking them home. I'm like, dude, really? <laughs> and then the third one, it was like he was non-communicative. Like, he didn't talk a lot. He was just so quiet. The only reason I think I went back to him was because of his lips. That's about it. <laughs> he had thick lips. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> At that time, I was all about the lips. But now I'm about, like, the personality and uh, deep voices. So I can't I can't take it. It's all right. Um, <laughs> now, it's like, I don't, I feel out of place when I do it. Which is when I... You know, if I could put it in some funny layman terms, I had to get some vanilla in my life. And that she has. And that I have. And obviously by my kids. You can tell. <laughs> so, yes. Now, would I ever go back to dating somebody Asian if for some odd reason, if for some God forbid reason, this, this relationship does not work out? Yes and no. So, I'm going to tell, tell you why in a minute. Um, one, because I don't want to be, like, rushing into... Really, even if it's a long time before I even have another relationship like that, I don't want to rush into it because my boys got to get used to them, them again. I have to get used to the fact that I'm with somebody again. I, I can't do it. Now, I have no intention of ruining this relationship that I'm in right now. I'm all down for this world. Chocolate and vanilla with butterscotch babies. <laughs> That's what I call them. But she just said it on one breath that I must spit my tea out. <laughs> and I'm all, and you know what? I am BWWM. That's what I am. Black woman, white male. I'm all about that. It's the swirl. It's the swirl. We have a Neapolitan family that I'm, that I'm slowly diving into. Slowly. <laughs> now, my experience with dating um, Mikey was fun. It was a lot of fun. When I would go to the library, because I always had stuff to write. Um, <laughs> she's looking at my pictures. Well, uh, like, why do you hate that? I hate glitter lipstick. I like I hate that. It. I hate it. It drives me nuts. I hate it. We have to do a makeup thing. I, I, I like that. I hate glitter lipstick. Is that the app? I, it's Snapchat. With the glitter lips? Yes. 
Why have you tried it? I hate it. I I'm hate sorry. It. I hate glitter lipstick. I hate it. It dry. I can't take it. We're getting I, off do, I like it. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's get back on something. We're getting off Let me get off. Dating Mikey was fun. A lot of people thought we were cute. <laughs> we had a little, we had some little um, puns here and there. Like, um, I forgot what I think one person said. That's some chocolate with some spice on it. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> the world was that. And he's sitting there laughing about holding me. I'm like, this is funny as heck. Okay. So we had a study block thing going on. And he would come to the library when I would be working on something. And, of course, you know, we can't in high school have your phones or instruments or phones or musical devices out. So he hid his in his hoodie or in his jacket, his sweat button-down jacket and all that, and stuck his earphone in my ear. And we sat there and listened to R&B in the library. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to do my work. He's sitting there right there next to me on his on his computer right next to mine and doing this work. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> now, outside of the high school, he would probably mainly come to maybe a couple of games. I know he came to a competition one time when we had it, actually had it at the high school. Um. So, now we talk every now and then. Uh. I told him, I think a couple, I think about a couple months ago, that he's one of the inspirations behind my book, Starstruck. Because when I when I write, I think of you know, in the in like what would he say? What would he do if this was us back then? Fast forward to now, what would happen? You know what I mean? So that's why I'm like, okay, with Asian men, there's I don't find a problem. They. I think they see. I think they tend to see <coughs> black women as you know, like beautiful, particularly Beyonce, Tanache. Mm. I think that's how you say her name. I'm sorry if I got it wrong, Tanache. Which she's off the market now, so sorry, you guys. <laughs> she's gotten. She's engaged, I think. Um, and y'all know Beyonce's off the market for real. We would love to have. Most women would love to have her body. Most women would love to have her hair. I mean, do you, that that hair could stand up to some wind. Who? Beyonce. <laughs> that hair could stand some wind. That's a frontal. That's a frontal. That's a It works. I mean, good lord, girl. Yeah. So, um, but most women are not like that. Most women are not Beyonce. We are not Rihanna. We are not Tinashe. We are not Naomi Campbell. We are not... We're not any of those. We're, we're actually women who actually enjoy dating outside of our race. Me, I call it a normal thing. What's not normal for me is dating somebody black. Sorry. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. It feels, so, it feels like out of place for me for some odd reason, and I don't know why. Um, but what about you? Did you even have, did you have an Asian man experience? No, I haven't. <clears throat> but I'm open. <laughs> Any takers? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm open. Seriously, no. I'm open. I'm, I've never had that experience. What was you? I've had a semi experience with uh, uh, Caucasian. One was my boss. <clears throat> No, I was clear my throat because. No, I know. <clears throat> but one was my boss. One was my, I guess you could say, superior or supervisor, because of I worked in a nursing home. Okay. Um, but that was like a more of a crush thing. Ah. And it was mutual. Um, my boss. Um, when I worked at a fast food chain, which I will not go into details, is that was a mutual thing. I knew. I knew that he, it was more him than me. He was more into me and him. But I mean, I thought it was cute. I'm proud of that. And the other one was at my job. It was a co-worker. And it um, turned out to be pretty good. We, it was more courting. But it wasn't like we would go out after work mm -hmm. or anything like that. It was just on the job, you know. It started out to be um, to help him out, 
but then it wound up turning to something else, and then, but I, I just never had that experience as far as going out on a date, being in a relationship, never had that. And you're willing to do that with uh Yeah, I'm I'm really I'm really with H well, okay, well I'm really ready to experience life. Yeah. If that's what I'm saying, because I'm I don't have a problem with it. I don't see a problem with it. Although some other people will say that they need to stay into their own relationship, you're ruining the line, the bloodline, or it's crazy to me because we all have the same color blood. So what what right are we care? Listen, I'm open. <laughs> For real. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm open. Right, right, yeah. I'm in a, a relationship now that's complicated, which will be dissolved, but I am open. So, we're, they, I want to say that some Asian men have, see their ideal women as, especially black women, as, you know, what they see in media. We ain't like that. Mm -mm. Like I, I mean, I know she can do it for herself, but she grown as all as all get it. But I want to apologize for the way Sky acted in South Korea on Black Ink Crew. <laughs> We're going. We don't let her represent all of us. No, that is, that is her. I, I, my thing is, I no. think a person, a person who does that, makes it. And I don't understand why people would look at that one person and would think that everybody is like that. You know, all black women are like that, and we're not. Mm -hmm. we're that not person, her actions is her actions. Her actions cannot speak for everybody. Like I said, she can apologize for herself if she wants to. She big girl. But she has no apology. She has no apology. That's just that's just who Sky is. That's who is. she is. So, so, like, we're not angry. We're not I mean, loud. I'm not down we're on not, her we're not, by no we're means. Not, I love her. Oh, God, I love her. Because she's, she's, <laughs> she's wild. She's awesome. She makes the show. She adds some spice to it. I but, love it. I love it. I love it. I, I mean, love but her. other than that. Because we're not loud. Would I hang not, with her? Yes. Every now and then. I will. But when she gets into her moods, I'm exit stage left. Okay. You call me when you get back to the fun part. Right. After that, don't. Mm -mm, because see, your personality and my personality is not going to go off very well. <laughs> At all. <laughs> I just want to. There's nothing. And you know what? Oh, this there the thing was I saw a couple of videos I don't think you've seen them but I saw a couple of videos on what Asian men think about dating black women and you know like in some of the videos mostly Beyonce came up in there Beyonce and Rihanna um mostly why because when they look when they think of like you know um <coughs> the ideal black female or something to that effect of a black female Beyonce, they go to, for them they go they go exact right to them and. You know, it's like, no, we're not all like that. We're no. not all skinny. We're not all size two. We're not, we're not all, all uh, loud. Butterscotch. No, we're not. We're not all have hair. Trust me. Let me let me explain something to you. That all that hair, it's a frontal lace. For Beyonce, yeah. Rihanna. Rihanna wears them too. Rihanna wears them too, but she has a pixie cut. But yeah. But my thing is, because we don't know what we, um, Beyonce's natural length is. It's pixie cut. She, she Beyonce? Took, yeah, she had took, took in a picture on her, um, not Snapchat, on her Instagram of just her natural crew. Okay, so therefore... It was nice. And Why'd it's nothing wrong with that. With that. Why don't you go with that, queen? It is nothing pretty. wrong with that, because I wear them. I wear them. And, I mean, a lot of people wear them, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you got the money, if you do that, do that. Do your For thing. real, because she be, you see, like, mean, you see the way that woman be dancing? How does that thing not fly off? Shoot. Yeah, it's, it's a frontal <laughs> lace 360. Like, how? But, I mean, there's a lot of people that wear them. There's a, I'm a young lady in my church that wears them, and it's very nice. And, I mean, it's natural as natural they're expensive. I'll have to get one maybe every six months because they're expensive. To get the one that I want, but there's nothing wrong with that. So all women don't all all yeah, yeah. African American women don't have long hair. Nope. Although there are some that has long natural hair. Yep. Yeah, like I'm, I'm, there getting, I'm are, getting there. Yeah. And this is see, dreads. And hers is just twist. Hers is locked. These are dreads. So. Mine's was locked, and I cut mine. Mine was down to my backside. So. But, um. What's that? Every. No, yeah. something on my phone. Okay. But other than that, I'm just everybody's not like that. Everybody is chocolate. Everybody is mocha. 
Can you buy the dark chocolate? Exactly. There's some that's dark dark chocolate. I'm milk chocolate. And I'm you're mocha. A, you're you're a cross between milk and mocha. Yeah. So my thing is I refer to everybody as chocolates. So but I mean so. and mine I'm a little I'm a, I'm on the thick side. Which I'm trying to rectify that. I just need to lose the stomach and I'm good. Same I'm, here. But other than that, that's it. We're we're all not like Rihanna. We're all not like Beyonce. We're like we're not uh, Amber Rose. We're no. not Sky. We're not mm -mm. Black China. We're not no. No, nope. we're more on a Naomi Campbell thing or uh, Grace Kelly. Uh yeah. And I mean, yeah. There are some dark, nice dark skin, nice looking women. I'm talking about. I'm not okay. If it sounds wrong, I'm sorry, but they're like super dark ladies. Okay, like And they're gorgeous. Yes, God. Oh my yeah. god. I mean, I'm not saying I'm gonna go sit in the sun and become crispy black, <laughs> but they are gorgeous. They are really <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean for it to sound like that, but but, still, okay, and, uh, and but they are I to mean, they are to really, rectify that comment. They are really just, gorgeous. You guys see Nikki Perkins, right? From Jamie and Nikki. We're not talking about that dark. Even though Nikki is beautiful, she's gorgeous, she rocks it, and her kids are gorgeous. Hello, you guys. Yeah. How y'all doing? I mean No, there are some young ladies that are real, real really dark. Really but when they dark. put on some bright colors, it's like Oh my god, we it's like can yeah. you work. They are really gorgeous. Uh, and people have a, a problem with that because of their skin pigment, and I'm like, why? It's like, why? They are gorgeous. They're beautiful, man. That's crazy. Sometimes you, you have know what? you have some that have that skin disorder where they're light in certain space places Ipetaga. and dark and all. They're beautiful too. Ipetaga. I mean, I was happy to actually see a commercial. I think it was L'Oreal. Winnie, where Winnie, yeah. She had Winnie. light under her eyes and around her mouth, and she had two different foundations. Where she did skin, she did one with her skin, and then she did it under her eyes. I know who you're talking about. It's and not Winnie, but it. I know what you're talking about. It was but beautiful. I'm like, America's Next Top it's Model. about time. It, there was one America's Next Top Model winner. Her name was Winnie, and she has Impetiga, and she is gorgeous. I'm like, it was about time that you actually brought these women out because there's nothing wrong with them. There really They're beautiful. Isn't. There really is nothing God wrong God made with everybody them. a certain way. If everybody was the same, what would you have to pick from? I don't want nobody you like me. You would, no, no. I want somebody no. who is who we have things in common, but is has more than me to help me get to where they're at and to excel even the more. I don't want nobody that's exactly like me because then I'm not going nowhere. I don't want to be stagnant all my life. That part. <laughs> I, I don't. I just don't. I mean, and I don't find out. I mean, and you may not be able to find out with your own race. You may not even be happy with your own race. You may have been find love and happiness someplace else. And it really isn't the color of the skin. It's the, the what's inside of the person. True. And if they just happen to be vanilla or, um, as she says, spice. Spicy. Mm. Or curry. Hey. Or, you know, jalapeno. Yeah. Or, um, okay, or what's the other one? Um, that fine wine. Italians. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. Is it French? Yeah. It don't matter. The Irish. It don't matter. You should go to Dublin. <laughs> I would like to go to London go to and then go to Ireland. I'm Dude. sorry. <laughs> we're making travel plans and we already know where we're going, but Jesus, we're talking about going someplace else. I'm yeah. excited to go to Korea. I you really am. God, I am so excited to go to Korea. It's so much fun. Oh my god, it's like. And but where's our layover? In China? And it's either in China or Thailand that we're going to. And this nut here I know is gonna lose her daggone mind once we land in China. As soon as we see in China, she's gonna go nuts! I know it. I I, know I it. love Asian things. I have um I know it. I mean that's like I have my my other daughter from another mother. Which is her bestie. Yes. Her sister. Yes. And she is she she knows I like Chinese things, Asian things. So she brought me this geisha doll. Oh I keep it in a box. Yeah, she does. Because I don't have no place to put it where it won't get messed up. Then she brought me this big Chinese bowl 
and I have a Chinese vase, mm -hmm. and I keep them wrapped Mom, up. Okay, in and what you said, she loves all things Asian. Yeah, Since I, just, I have a, 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 do you have a little teacup set from China. Yep, I had an actual bamboo jewelry box. Yep, and in the glass, it was wood carved out. Of trees and a little city. She has oh, I love it. And it was, it was taken. She has um, geisha pictures that we are not allowed to touch. Nope. Not Nobody. To touch. When I move, I'm the only one that can touch them because I know how to take care of them, but she still looks at me sideways. Yeah. I don't let <laughs> nobody touch them. When we move, don't touch my pictures. I got this. I'm like, really? Sure I do. got Don't touch them. She has those geisha yeah. pictures because they're made out of shells. So. She has those geisha pictures. Yeah. She has Chinese character pictures. I ordered a kimono for my uncle who lives in Okinawa, Japan. And she really surprised me. I was so happy. I that was her went, Mother's Day. About I had to go in the bathroom and cry because I mean it was. I, I love I, it. Yeah, she did. She I did. have. I actually have a kimono. Um, so. I ordered and my that, favorite color, red. And red too. I told because when I called them, it was about like I think nine o'clock in the morning there or about 10, 11, something Yeah, because he lived in Okinawa. So it was like 11 o'clock in the morning. It was 9 o'clock here, but 11 o'clock in the morning there since they're like hours ahead of us. Um, and I called him and I asked him about it. And he called me at 9 and I was about to go to sleep. It was a school night too, I remember, because I had to go. No, I just got out of high school. I'm sorry. I was about to go to work that year. And I called him and I asked him and he sent it. He said that my cousin, I, A-I, exactly how it's spelled, I means love, mm -hmm. picked it out and said to send it to her aunt. And she did, and then we all gave it to her, me and my mom, my brother, and I said it's from I and um, my uncle, um, and and they said they're from Japan, and she had gotten a red, full t full length, yes, sleeve, nothing fake about nope. it, the, the big sleeves, the wing sleeve, oh my yes. god, yes, she got it from Japan, yep, she got it from Japan, that was the Mother's Day of 2010, 11, 11, sorry, 11, mm. Uh, it was Mother's Day 2011. So, and uh, yeah, she really did cry. She has these golden um, golden vases um, and that has Indian on is in golden Indian vases. Like, like India. Yeah, they were made from India, but then they were hand carved with yeah. real ivory. And I don't let nobody mess with those. And they got elephants on it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, all about that Asian yeah. persuasion. Yeah. I mean, I have pictures that have... Uh, Chinese writing on them, mm -hmm. and um, I don't, I don't, I have the Chinese fans that my mother had that she gave to me. Yep. I, I listen. I just, I love them. I really. If my mom had it her way, them. I would build her whole house like the buildings in China. I'm not kidding. I'm going to get me a tattoo of a geisha girl. I am. Geisha pinup. I'm getting me a. a I'm gonna get a whole geisha geisha girl on my um calf. Well, that's gonna be nice. I'm with gonna record that so y'all can yeah, see. Yeah, with an umbrella. Yep. I'm going to record that so y'all can see that because it's pretty nice. I want to see that. Yep. I want to see it. And uh, we're real in tune with who we are as black women, but we also love other cultures. Like yesterday I was on the phone with somebody, and this is what I was going to talk to you about, and my cousin who's coming with us to Korea, um, about going our layover since it's either in China or Thailand. She talked to us about, you know, leaving some weeks early to explore China. And it's full entire. Well, not in full entirety, but just to hit the hot spots like Beijing and um, the Great Wall and Shanghai, and it's like a fifteen day trip. <coughs> wow. Mhm. Mm I'm like, I was telling her, my mom would lose her love, ever loving mind, because China is like your safe haven. I'm like, she'll fit right in. <laughs> she really will. <laughs> She really will, honestly. And then I said, we ha I haven't. I told her over the phone. I'm like, I haven't really gotten into knowing more about Thailand like I really should. But I love Thailand. Let me tell you how I love Thailand. The king and I there. <laughs> Thailand's beautiful. I mean, they're like that's all gold that them girls be wearing when they dancing. Man, it's like, is your head hurt? All that headdress you wearing? And you're yeah. dancing. So, one of those two layovers, I got to check again on our flight to be sure which one that we're actually going with. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description below of what who I called for that. And I'm going to show my mom more details about that so you guys can have your trips planned, too. Because uh, now I'm planning for future trips, too. They have it for London, European trips. They have one for Australia. 
Hmm. So my son's part of my oldest son is part Australian. So I would I would love to take him. He's um Australian descent. Mm hmm. So I would love to take him when he turns about like 10, 11, something like that. <clears throat> so the only thing is, it will not allow kids that is under the age of six. So we have to wait until my youngest one is of age. So, because I would love to take him around the world to see the London Eye, Mumbai, India, um, the Fre um Eiffel Tower, like. Venice. Oh my god, Venice, Italy. Are you kidding me? The Colosseum in Rome. Let's be real. I would lose my mind in Rome. <laughs> so, yeah. But back to what we were talking about. There's nothing wrong with dating outside your race. There's nothing wrong with no. dating. There really isn't. Like in and, and like and Don't let nobody make you feel bad about no, that neither because no. there's nothing wrong with that. If that's who you're with and that person makes you happy, yeah. regardless of the skin color, I don't care if they green and purple with yellow polka dots. If they make you happy, then you go for it. Be happy. I see it. They can be pink and orange. With I really, polka I can dots. tell you this now. I really thought I was going to be matter. judged. I really did by my family mm. on who I wanted to be with. It's about who makes her happy. I can't make her happy. Not in that aspect. Okay, this just got weird. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, I can go on and have my life and be happy, and then you're stuck. I mean, no, everybody we, deserves to be some, happy. And you know what? Whom, some whomever women, makes them some happy. women and some men rely on their family's approval, and if they don't, don't. do that, mm -mm. if you do that, you miss out on you, possibly the truest love you ever had. And the biggest blessing that you will ever throw away is when you do that. You can't live your life through family members. You can't do it. Or friends. Can't do you it. got to live your life for you. There was a you couple. Alone. There was a couple. You the one that got to wake right. up with that person. You the one that got to lay down with that person. You the one that got to smell their breath in the morning. You the one that got to do all that. That. All that. Not your family. Because when y'all go behind closed doors in your own place, guess what? Family ain't there. Right. They can't. They ain't paying your bills. And they don't make you happy like that person do. Exactly. They ain't got your back like that person do. Right. Make sure that person really got your back and is there for you 100%. Not 50-50, because there's no such thing as 50-50. 100-100. Like, let's, like let's just be real. I'm very happy in the relationship that I am in, and I'm very excited. For and I support him. And for the relationship that I am in. I support him. Even I though have, he's older than her, I still support him because she's happy. I am. She's very happy. I, I, who am I to say, no, you can't be with him because he's older than you? Age is a number, honey, because you've got some people that are older and still act like they in their um, teens and, and early He acts 20s. like he's in my age bracket. That's, <laughs> the, way, the age that he is, he acts, like he, he acts like he's in his 20s. But he keeps it exciting. He keeps her laughing. That's all I want for my children. I want somebody that's going to make my children happy. I want somebody who's going to support and protect my children, even against me. That they won't even let me come up against them. This is after they get married. <laughs> so you get married, you got no set. But even after they get married, I can't just come in there and say any old thing. If he could do that, he good in my book. And I back off. I don't do that with my son. He got a good wife. Yeah. And she's Italian. Yeah, she's Italian. She's Italian. She's Italian. I think you guys seen a picture of my she's sister. She's half Italian, half Indian. Cher Cherokee. Cherokee. Yeah. We're all Cherokee. We all got Cherokee. We have Cherokee Blackfoot. My son is Spanish. Yes, I went to the spicy he side. He, we had tacos. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, because he's, 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 he's from... Um, they have tacos, I think, in Puerto Rico. Well, yeah. No, yeah. I had the red beans and rice. Mm. So, but the funny thing is, my son don't like rice. No, he don't. Anyway. <laughs> Which is weird. I don't get that. <laughs> but, my son is Spanish, and but he has also Cherokee and Blackfoot. She has Cherokee, and she's Italian. And I mean, that, that true Italian. Yeah. So, I mean, and his first son is from Trinidad, is half Trinidad. So his son is, is half Spanish. Half, well, they say your children are what your, your father is. So his son is considered Spanish because his father is Spanish. But his mother is Trinidad. So he still has that mixture in him, which is a nasty combo. 
Oh, scary. <laughs> but, you know. And I, I don't know exactly who I, um, who, what all yeah, countries are in my blood. She's going to find hers out. She's determined to do that. I very am. But her really fiance am. is. is my fiance has World War Three all up in him, and I love it. Woo, boy, do they clash! And I mean, they boom, boom, boom. He's Russian and, and he's German. German. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how they got that together. Oh God, I don't know either. But they made it happen. God bless you. <laughs> and we talk about it every time we start laughing. Like you know how much of a biggest contradiction it is. Boy, like, I would hate yeah. to see him when he get mad. He'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> All over the place. Oh my gosh. Okay, go sit down. <sighs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't help that one. No, she couldn't. She really couldn't. So, <laughs> got number love for you, baby. So, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, and it's funny. It's real funny, too. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay. I'm like, you have World War Three going on inside you, right? He's like, yeah, all the time. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, I love you regardless. I love you regardless. <laughs> I really do. Is so, that the right time? It is. Oh, goodness. Like, we're recording this real early. Like, it's like hitting noon right now. So, mm -hmm. now while, we, while we're recording this, it's noon. But my, whatever time you guys are watching this, yeah. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. My tea turned to water. I ran out of tea. <laughs> okay. It was good. I, yeah. I so, for those that are, you know, like, you know, because there are some tea, I know there are peer pressure for <coughs> teens. Let me tell you. We, we've been there. Peer pressure from teens. If you want to date outside your race, then go ahead and do it, girl. Dude. Get. Yeah. Bro. And, and you know what's really sad? Is when the adults. Oh, my God. It make it so bad. Make it so bad for the children. Mm -hmm. And that's what turns a lot of children away from the parents. Um, they run their children off, and they miss out on a beautiful relationship. They miss out on their grandkids. You know, they miss out on something that's really beautiful because of the poison that's in their skin, in, their, in, their, in themselves. And then you're teaching them to do that, and there's no need because we've done nothing to you. Exactly. Just because we look different. My thing is, and I was told this. I forget if it was from my mother or my grandfather, but I was told this. When we all die, we all going to turn black. <laughs> when we get cut, we all going to bleed red. True. While the blood is in our veins, it is blue. Everybody's, vein, everybody's blood is blue now until it hits the air. Yep. So guess what? We still the same. When we get to heaven, if some of us get to heaven, we all going to look the same and ain't going to be no discrimination there. It ain't going to be nothing but love. So if you plan on going up there, and don't tell me Jesus is white because Jesus is in the image of everybody. And if you read your Bible, it says his skin was copper, his hair is of wool. Okay, well then you got light skin well, people. We in church now. You got light skinned people with woolly hair. You got Italian people with woolly hair. You got Chinese people with woolly hair. You got a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of nationalities with copper skin and woolly hair. So you just can't say that he was white with blue eyes. Because I want to see a picture that you took of Jesus with his skin was copper, woolly, and blue eyes with straight hair. Because he ain't had no perm and no process back then. <laughs> Where his stuff was flowing in the wind. It just didn't happen. <laughs> Those are probably looking at us like, what? <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. All right. Sorry, don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. It, I, mm. So, I mean, it doesn't matter. You know, and it's, it's a shame. Like I said, when we all die, we all gonna be black, and we all gonna so, turn to dust. Yeah. We all gonna be worm maggot food. Get graphic. Hello. <laughs> Jeez. So to those that are nervous about, <laughs> like, seriously, she's nuts. 
to all those that are real nervous but about it's true. it's true that are nervous about you know telling their parents that you know hey my boyfriend or hey my girlfriend is not like us i wear that proudly i'd wear that like a tattoo on my chest mm-hmm. i mean you find a lot of caucasian women dating a lot of black men mm-hmm. i had no problem with that like get your swirl on girl go on if that's what makes you happy go on with your bad self baby get that chocolate Go on. You got stuff. And for the black women that want to date Asian men, everybody needs a Go little... Go on, baby. Get you. Everybody needs a little spice in their life. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I mean, for mm. real. I mean, have you seen some of these Blasian babies? Like, oh. Listen, some of these swirl babies is off the chain, too. Yes. I got three of them. Yes. Mm. Yes. I got three grandbabies like that. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. And she is so happy. Yes, I am. Very you don't find Listen, many. We got the melting pot in our family. We have people we really from do. China. We have people from Ireland. We have people from Trinidad, Jamaica. We got fat people in our family that's all around this world. So Mexicano, Latino, Puerto Rican. Like I can't tell you, growing up in a black household, listening to Selena. <laughs> yeah. and Chinese then, uh, movies. Chinese movies. Then we then we just like you know. We uh then I listened to punk rock when I was in my teenage adolescent years and it drove my mother nuts. She still hates it because I listen to heavy metal and all they do is scream. So it drives her it drives her completely insane. That's probably the only thing she hates about it. That went down the wrong pipe. Uh, <coughs> so Yeah, I don't like that heavy metal. She don't like heavy metal. I don't, and I don't but like But this coming from, she doesn't like today's heavy metal now. Ask her about back in the day. Yeah, I was in a kiss. Twisted Sister. Yeah, yeah. Queen. Yes. <laughs> like, okay. Joan Jet. But now, I don't understand the dog one thing you're talking about. And I don't like rap. Not today's rap at we, all. I don't, this it is, gives me a headache. This is what we listen Back to. in the day, rap, yes. they was talking about something that was about real life. You understood it. You identified with it. Okay. Now all you get is a bunch of booty shaking, money killing, drugs. All, I, I'm not into that. Calling people, calling females the B word, calling people the N word. I mean, come on. Now. It's songs that don't make sense. Like, I kid you they not, don't. there's this one song that I absolutely love because I said we're going to do this dance when I get married, like during my bridal, getting my, where everyone's getting ready. And the song is called Broccoli by <laughs> Little Yachty. And, you know, I said that we was going to do the dance. Like, everyone's just going to, I'm going to have a camera and everyone's just going like this. <laughs> I love it. I love that video. I don't know why. There's just these three girls, and I saw them on Tumblr, um, the video on Tumblr, and they were dancing to the song, and it was so cool. They were so cool. Um, it was so cool. My niece is here. It was so cool the way those girls just, like, did the video. I'm like, we're doing that when I get married. Like, everyone in the, in the um, wedding shower, um, wedding party is just going to, you know, just going to go by with the camera, just stone face it and... Yeah. So, <laughs> um, any parting words before we close out this tea, ses- tea session? I can't talk. Tea session. Tea session. Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, all that. <laughs> nope. Just be true to you. Be true to you. Love be who true you, to your heart. Love who you love. Don't worry about the animosity. I mean, people can't live and be happy for you. You have to be happy for yourself. So. That's your life. You make your own decisions. The day you can make somebody else happy with your choices, please let me know. <laughs> I like to know how that works. Yeah. All right. The Asian work. world, the Asian world itself, is something so beautiful that I think everyone should discover. And um, the whole stereotype of yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> that's so wrong. Beyond belief. They say, listen, they say there's some black ones that got the, and there's some Caucasian. Okay, let me just put this out. Let me just put this out there right now. All black men are not great in bed. So whoever came up with that stereotype, there you go. All right, that's just it. Yeah, here.
<laughs> my baby's waking up. So I guess that's our cue. To that's end our this cue. Tea we are ending it here. It has been a long video because we talked about some for real, for real stuff, even with some off the topic stuff. And it's okay. I get a little laugh in between. Um, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. You want to see more light tea time sessions like this, where we just go in with real real stuff then let us know in the comment section down below don't forget to hit that bell to get notifications on what you want to talk about like give us some subjects give us some awesome subjects yeah. this is fun this is a lot of fun we got our tea i had mine she drank hers guzzled it it's all right <laughs> So, I hear you, honey. And we're going to cut it off right here. We love you all. Remember, K-pop makes the world go round. Music equals life. Don't forget to hashtag Kia in Korea 2019. Can't wait. Can't wait. So excited. Next year. Love, 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 y'all. Cannot wait. Love you all. Take care. And y'all. Bye. Bye.